hello welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here this is now the fifth time i have tried to start a vlog since i graduated college and moved back home obviously it's just like been a really busy time it's been like just not good like it's been hard to vlog so i told you guys that i'm not quitting after college and i'm not but it has been hard the past couple weeks so i was like today i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna film an intro we're gonna chat and then I'm gonna vlog all through this weekend because it's a very important weekend and I've never vlogged this weekend in my entire, what, like five years of having a channel. And it's like the best weekend in Kentucky every year. It's like, it's a big deal. And I don't know why I've never vlogged. So what is up? It's been a minute. The last thing that I vlogged was the last, the first week after I graduated, my last week in Tuscaloosa with all my friends. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's gonna rain outside. I don't need that to happen. And then I moved home. So let's just like catch up on what I've been doing since then before we get into what we're going to be doing. This is going to be kind of a long video, but that's okay because I've been gone for like three weeks. So four weeks. Is this like the fourth week? Yeah, this is like week. No, it doesn't matter. So came home, moved back home. Clearly like my closet's pretty empty. All my clothes are in the back of my car. Minus what was in my suitcases. And I had a doctor appointment like an hour and a half away. I went for my freaking nose again. It did that one day. I've seen family, seen some friends. My friend had a baby in February that I hadn't got to meet yet. So I went up there, hung out, met her. My friend got married. I was in her wedding. I was maid of honor. Um, and so was her sister that weekend. Here's some pictures. It was really, really fun celebrating Kaylee and Jared, and the whole weekend was so beautiful. It was on the lake, like, had so much fun. So I didn't vlog that, obviously. Why would I? What did I do after that? I think I was here that whole week. I went to the lake this past weekend. I had my graduation party over the weekend, and I started a vlog for that. I was, like, in Lexington. I went to the dentist, and then I went to Trader Joe's. I did, like, a haul. I still have the footage. You guys probably don't want it. It's, I buy the same stuff every time I go there. And then I went to the lake house. I've been in Tennessee until yesterday I got home. And then I went to my friend Taylor's house because her and Sawyer are moving out. So me and Kennedy went to help them move. We were, like, there for a couple hours moving, boxing, doing all that. And then we drove with her up to uh, Cumberland, which is, like, 30, 40 minutes away where they're moving. Um, temporarily I got to see her baby so yeah all my friends here are like married with kids which is great I love it so I can be like the fun aunt but in the process of all of this I've also been putting in a million job applications and so this is where life gets fun I thought that you know if I started applying right now I would probably have a job by like August which was like my plan I was like you know like interviews in like July and then move in August and then the day that I put I don't want to give away too much information because I still don't know what I'm doing and I want it to be like a surprise video when I do decide but I got a phone call from this company that I applied for so those of you that don't know my major is it's been um, news media concentrated in sports with a minor in communication so basically what I want to do is tv like news or sports anchor reporter basically so I got a phone call from this place that I applied to and he basically did like an on the spot on the phone interview I was like in the middle of a workout at the gym I was like out of breath it was so fun and then he sent me a writing test which I had to do like a bunch of script writing it was very time consuming and then he reached out to both of my references that day and then they had a zoom call meeting with me the next day really quick process and they called me they said they would call me on Monday Called me Monday, offered me the job, and I was like, oh shoot. So then I also have been considering, because this is not in my state, that job isn't. I've been now considering a different job that is in my state, and I talked to their manager yesterday on the phone, and I have an interview there next Wednesday in person, but this job needs to know by Friday if I'm going to take it. And so I, well, actually, I was supposed to tell them yesterday. And I was like, can I have a couple more days? Like, I need to really figure out what I'm doing. But obviously, I'm not going to tell them I'm, like, interviewing for another job. They call me this morning, and they up the salary. So it's a three-year contract, which kind of sucks. But, um, because, like, you kind of want to, like, work your way up in news. Each year, they upped it each year. Because, like, it goes up by 2000 each year, basically. But they, uh, uh, they like, upped each year two thousand more dollars than what they offered the first time so obviously they really want me to come and I was like text my mom I was like no I really don't know what to do I'm so stressed 
But I'm like the biggest, firmest believer in everything happens for a reason and what's meant to be will be. I even want to get it tattooed on my body somewhere. I just, I want it right here. Actually, I just don't know like how to word it because it's kind of like cheesy. But I really do believe it. And I was like, okay, I know which one I want more and I know which option I'm leaning towards because I think it would be better for me in the long run. That does not mean that I don't think the other one wouldn't be great. It's really a win-win situation. It's just kind of like happened so fast and I didn't expect it. And I thought I would have like the summer to come home and spend with my family and see my friends and go back to Tuscaloosa and spend like a month like in Alabama, like one last hurrah. And like now life is hitting me full force and I'm like, well, now I'm never going to have free time ever again. Because like with this job, like it is 24-7. Like, you were always working. You don't get holidays. Like, you don't get weekends. Like, my title for this job at this other place would be a weekend anchor slash MSJ, which would be, like, three days during the week is what they said. It's like I could have one day off a week, which is fun. Like, I totally signed up for this. It's just, like, it happened so fast. And now I'm like, I don't know what to do. So that is where I'm at in life right now. So what we're doing is I just raided my mom's closet. She's the perfect closet for a news anchor reporter. <laughs> and um, we're about to go shoot my highlight reel because I don't really have one of those. All I have is like things that I've done in school. And I'm not really proud of those because I was just like, you know, BSing it for class. But I'm going to toss some of those in and I'm going to go make my own. So we're going to go to my high school's football field and basketball field and baseball field and some places around town. And I'm going to make up newscasts essentially and like sports casts and just like what you'd watch on TV. And I'm going to, I literally like took so many outfits from her closet and like they're all sitting there. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me today. I think it would be so much fun. And we'll see what we get into. And then, so tomorrow starts the KMLF, which is the Kentucky Mountain Laurel Festival. Huge, huge deal in Kentucky. It's so much fun. It's very pageant-oriented. It's like a festival. Like, you have, you know, a festival. Tomorrow, the princess and queen candidates, so, like, high schools, all high schools in Kentucky, all the colleges in Kentucky, will do their introductions for the weekend on stage, and then the concert happens. So, in the past, we've had, like, Scotty McCreary, Lauren Elena. We've had some, like, pretty cool artists come sing um this weekend it's maddie and tay the country artist and then there's another girl i can't remember her name that is singing with like before them i guess so the, oh, me and my friends are going to that our friend trisha that used to be my roommate in college when i went to eku is in the pageant so that is thursday's agenda friday i'm going to the lake all day saturday back to kentucky to watch the queen's pageant which trisha's in and then it's Queen's ball. That is like the biggest, best thing that ever happens. And I can't even like explain it. You guys are just going to have to see for yourself. It's so much fun. It's basically like prom for 18 plus. So it's like 18 year olds partying with like 60 year olds. Like it's like there is no like, it's just so fun. It's We look forward to it every year and they didn't have it last year because of COVID obviously. So now that everyone is like, vaccinated and everything's opened back up it's just great timing for this to happen and I'm so excited if you guys can't tell I'm like rambling on so much but yeah I am gonna go get ready we're gonna go shoot my highlight real come back edit it send it to this guy I'm gonna stress some more about which job I'm gonna take and then I'm gonna go hang out with my dad go to the gym and then I'm going to my sister's softball game so let's go this vlog's gonna be like 30 40 minutes long I hope you guys are down for it if you're new here hit that subscribe button if you haven't already clicked out of this video and uh go follow me on instagram and my social media because uh you might find out what i'm doing job wise uh sooner there than here hey guys quick update we're at location three um we're about to get into outfit number three i think this is going really well it does make me wish that i would have tried harder on my packages Ugh, my little baby hairs and stuff in school so that i wouldn't have to do this but it's okay because it's kind of good that it's like in the location that it is because that's like kind of where I'm applying more. Not really, but like kind of. So. Okay, guys. So I just got home. I think it went really well. I'm going to go edit all that together before I figure out what my next move for the day is. But I did want to show you. I got a package sent to me from this brand called Tanologist. They had DM me on Instagram and I'm supposed to promo it on Instagram, but because I'm a real one, I'm going to promote it on here too, in case you guys are interested, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to try it out first, but this weekend, I don't know if I should try out something new before a really important weekend, I don't know, we'll see, I might play around with it, it's not, but we'll see, so I just, I, we'll see what happens, I don't know, um, also this came, 
I think this is like some of my graduation photos my mom ordered. I don't really know. But I'm going to go change and start editing and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys. Uh, okay, so I'm back. <laughs> um, It's Tuesday. <laughs> Everything that I just talked about that I was so excited to vlog is just not vlogged. Like I did not vlog. I didn't video. Okay, that's a lot. I did video. Let's just like, okay, let's just, <laughs> I don't even remember what day I started this, but I do want to post it. And now it's just going to be a like update on my life, like what's been going on since I got home from college and I'll start vlogging again tomorrow for sure, for real this time. Cause I have an interview tomorrow and a lot of fun stuff happening. I'm going back to Alabama Thursday. Here's what's up. Today I was on my way to the KMLF concert, Maddie and Tay, I think that's the day I started the vlog and I told you guys about it and I was having a great day. It was so warm outside beautiful weather i stopped to get gas i was like in a hurry so i was putting my shoes on at the gas station i laid my phone on top of my car i like got back in my car i put my lipstick on finished pumping it pulled out got all the way up the hill from the gas station on the bypass and my music stopped playing and i was like what happened to my bluetooth and then i remembered i left my phone on top of my car and i was like you're kidding me and i was already literally late so i turned back around i was like it's got to be by the gas station and there's no way it would have made it up off the hill but it did it was not down there pulled up on the bypass there's my phone laying in the middle of the road <laughs> so i had to pull over on the median and watch a million people run it over before the red light stopped and i could get out and go get it here's a picture of it somehow my phone wallet kept my id my debit card and all my things in back there so that was good and then I went to my mom's office, like, nearly in tears, but also laughing. I didn't know what to do. And I was like, I guess I'm just going to have to go home, get my graduation money, go buy a new phone. She was like, you don't have time. Just take mine, go to the concert, have a good time. So I did get two whole videos of Maddie and Tay. If anyone wants to see what it looked like, here they are. I hate the way this bikini time shakes. Do I really have nowhere I make? Yeah, baby. I hear you over there on your tailgate I came home, she went and got me a new phone, and I just paid her back, so that was so nice of her. So now I have the 12 Max Pro. I don't know if that video quality changed, probably not, because, like, the sun's not even out, and it was out when I started the intro. But I do think it's, like, better, um, and I like the phone, I like the size of it, so I do recommend it if anyone wants it. What's so sad is I paid $500, well, $570, but $500 to buy out my contract, the phone was $70. If it would have been two weeks later, my contract would have been up, and my phone would have been free. So yeah, that was that. Also, the concert started pouring the rain, so we got soaking wet. We had to leave early. So Thursday was not my day. Friday, I did not even go to the festival. I was so tired. I stayed home all day. went to bed early. Saturday was Queen's Ball. I started a vlog. I'm not even going to show you the intro. It's like three minutes long of me explaining what it is because it was going to be a separate video. And then I had a really, really rough night Saturday, to put it gently. And then I was so excited to go to the lake Sunday with all my friends. And we did go. And it was like 50 degrees. And we were like, what the heck? So we literally sat on the porch for most of the day in blankets and sweatshirts. And then we went out on the boat in the evening. And then Monday, Memorial Day was yesterday. It was so nice, beautiful. I just got home. I've been at my dad's. I came home from the lake today, went to my dad's house for his birthday party. His birthday is like Friday and I'm leaving Thursday. We had it early. I got to see all my sisters. We have not all been together since December of 2019. Like we literally did Christmas on FaceTime with Kinsey last year. So it was so fun to all be back together. And yeah, I just didn't vlog any of it. So this is why I will never be a successful YouTuber. But really guys, I want to be better and I want to get more committed to it and do like I used to do like back in the day. And I vlogged like every second of my life every day. So hopefully we'll get back on track. But tomorrow's a really exciting day and I'm about to go get my laundry out and clean my room and get packed and start packing for Bama and then go to my interview tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to start the vlog in the morning. I'm going to especially wake up early so that I know that I have time to start the vlog because if I don't start it, it will never get done. So thank you guys for watching whatever the heck this was. Basically me talking, explaining my mess of a life. I will see you guys tomorrow. And I will be posting pretty regularly in June, probably more than regularly because it's going to be a busy month. And we'll get back on track. Mm -hmm.